Hey there, and welcome to part 7. Last time we had beaten Sabrina, so it's time to head south of Fushu City and on to Route 19. There are a load of water type Pokemon you can catch here, including Staryu, Corsola, and Kingler. If you remember, you can fish for Staryu too, at night. Make your way past all the trainers, and you'll find yourself on Route 20. Here, you can find Chinchows, and you can fish for Gyarados. Then you'll find the Seafoam Cave. There are a lot of things to pick up in here, and you can even fight against Articuno. But I'll just show you the quickest way through, just to save time. Simply head right here, ignore all the ladders on the way. Head right some more, and then you'll be home clear. On the other side, just use Surf, and head west. There are, as usual, a load of trainers to fight here, so feel free to do so and get all the MXPs. Eventually, you'll find your way to Cinnabar Island. Head to land and then head up to this big house with a guard in front. She'll tell you that there's a key hidden inside, and you'll need it before you face the gym leader Blaine. Head north and take the first set of stairs upwards. Head right and then north. And then hook around and go left. And then up here and take this set of stairs upwards. And then from here you just head right and then down. And this is the puzzle section. You'll find a guard and she'll tell you that there are five doors. One will lead you to your reward. One will lead outside. One will lead to south of your reward. One will lead to southeast of your reward. And one will lead you north. Choose wisely. For the sake of getting items, take the left door first and then head north and talk to the scientist. After you beat him, simply head left and then north and then pick up the TM14 Blizzard. Head back south and then west. In this room, you'll find an antidote. Now if you head south, you'll see three guards guarding this doorway. They won't let you through, but that there is the key. You need to find some way to get around to it. Now back at the puzzle room, head for the middle door this time and beat up these two guards. All you need to do is head west and pick up the restore. Then click on the rightmost bookcase and you'll find a book that's oddly placed. Put it back into position and then you'll find yourself in front of the rusty old cinnabar key. Now you can face plane. At this point I escape roped out. Now it's on to the Cinnabar Gym. The first trainer you fight will have a Volpix. Then he'll switch to a Growlithe. And his final Pokemon will be a Ninetales. I didn't have much trouble with these guys because I had ground and water types. After you beat him, it's time for number two. He'll come at you with a Volpix. And then a second Volpix. And then a Ninetales. After that is trainer number three. He'll have a Ponyta, followed by a Rapidash. And then much to my surprise he brings out a Charizard. His final Pokemon is a Charmeleon. I can't help but feel he used them in the wrong order. Oh well. Trainer number four. She'll just have a Charizard, and don't forget he is flying type as well, so you can use electric on him if you need to. The next trainer will have a Magby, and then a Rapidash. Trainer 6 will start with a Ninetales, then he'll bring out another Ninetales, and then he'll finish off with an Arcanine. After a bit of plot, you'll find Blaine, and then he'll sneakily run off to the lower depths. So I guess it's yet more trainers to fight. The next trainer will have a Ninetales and then a Charizard. After that, it's time to fight Garth Thomas. She'll have an Arcanine and then she'll switch to a Charmeleon. But then finally, after all those trainers, it's time to fight Blaine himself. He'll kick things off with an Arcanine, then he'll switch to a Rapidash. 
His third Pokemon would be a Charizard. Again, don't forget you can use Electric or Ice if you need to on him. Then he'll bring out a Ninetales. And finally, a Magmar, which is pure fire type. When you beat him, he'll give you the Volcano Badge. If you speak to his aid, he'll sell you Fire Blast if you want. After Blaine, it's time to head all the way back to Ravidian City. Luckily, it's just north. When you enter the gym, you'll find Gary. He'll look at you defeatedly and tell you that Giovanni has the most powerful Pokemon he's ever seen. I wonder what Pokemon that could be. Head into the room and you'll find his team set out behind him. When you get into battle, you'll find that he has just the one Pokemon. And it's Mewtwo. One thing I do like about Pro is that Mewtwo in this version is wearing his armor. When you beat him, he'll give you the Earth Badge. And then after thinking about it, he'll disband Team Rocket. If you speak to his aid, he'll offer you Earthquake, which to be fair you might as well take, it's pretty damn good. And that's the end of this part, hopefully I'll catch you guys for part 8, thank you for watching.